Hey guys, McNeil J1 here, and today we have an unboxing of the 5.1 channel home theater system made by Sony, the HTSS370. This is uh, surround sound speakers made by Sony, they're 5.1, and so let's get into the boxing, okay? So before we get started with the unboxing, I'm just going to tell you some key features. Um, the total output power is 1000 watts, as HDMI, as um, allows 3D. Um, to your 3D TV um, has S Air Ready, which you can have wireless rear speakers by plugging in um, into the back of it a transmitter, and then you and then you at the back of your room you have a little receiver, and the receiver sends it to the wireless speakers, and it's Bravia Sync because it's made by Sony, obviously. It also has Dolby Digital Pro Logic 2 DTS surround sound. Uh, digital cinema surround and audio calibration. It comes with a microphone, and then you plug the microphone into it. You only have to do, you only have to do this once, and then you put the microphone where you're most likely to sit the most, and it automatically adjusts the levels of each speaker so for the best uh, sound. Um, HDMI, S mat. So when to unbox this, you will need a knife and scissors to cut the cables inside that keep it all together. So let's just. Start cutting this open. Let's move it back a bit. Go forward. Sony did a great job when they shipped this. They said they would ship it on the seventh. Well, they um, we paid for the express, which is only ten dollars, and the total box was twenty-eight bucks. So that's pretty good. Um, but they ship. It came two days earlier. They said they would ship it on the seventh. Well, they shipped it on the sixth, and we got it on the seventh. Okay, now that you can see into the box a bit better. First, we're gonna have. We're just gonna have to lift up the styrofoam. Just one piece out here. Next piece, and the first thing we have is where all the speakers and everything plugs into. So I'll just take that out. It's actually not too heavy. Um, I'll at the end of this video I'll show all the connections on this better. Okay, so next up, after we took out the box that all the speakers plug into and all your inputs go into and everything, we have this. So I said to lift this up. This is a subwoofer. Oh. There we go. Okay, so we got this out now. Just tidy this up a bit. So we just have to take our scissors and we can cut this. Here we have our remote. Your standard like Sony remote has the yellow, blue, red, and green buttons on it. It can control your TV as well if you program it and you can change the input and everything and focus there we go see you input one they already have names so you can make it whatever you want. It also has FM and AM radio so you have your Blu-ray, DVD, satellite or cable box, your TV, other video inputs or like a CD player input. And then you have your digital media port, which is, you can buy an adapter to plug your iPod into. And then you have your AM and FM radio tuner. So I'll just go up here slowly and show you everything. Okay, so let's get back to... Taking everything else apart. So now I can just take these pieces off. Oh, 
And we also have our, um, this, which contains our manual, our operating instructions, our um, quick setup guide of where to position all the speakers, and uh, customer two year warranty. It also includes two batteries for the remote, they're Sony branded batteries. We have the microphone I was talking to you about that you plug in and then you put it where you're gonna sit. We have the FM and AM cables here. And then we also, in the bottom of the box, we have all the cables that go to the speakers. The rear speaker cables are uh, 10 meters in length. So that will be perfect for us. So there will be enough room to hide it. So let's continue with this. This here is a subwoofer. I had my grandma buy my grandpa um, these for Christmas so the subwoofer is not huge but it works very well so you can see on the bottom right there is the speaker itself and then you have your cable pre-attached to it so you don't have to plug the subwoofer in to a power outlet you can just plug into the back and here are the five speakers they're not huge but they work very well. So the first one we have here is our center speaker which will go below the TV in the center obviously and then it's labeled center and it's green right there so that means the green cable plugs into it and it just goes into there uh, like your normal audio cables and then the back and then the other end of the cable is uh, so it's proprietary cable, but I'm pretty sure you could like cut it in the middle and add in your own speaker cable if you need more length because it's normal speaker cable except for that they soldered the other end to a proprietary connector. And then here's the other four speakers, your front left, your front right, and your two rear speakers. And they also both have, see if that'll focus, I don't know if you can see it, there you go. You can put screws or nails in the wall and put them in it. And then in, this is the front right speaker like this. Sony, they're like a glossy finish, they leave fingerprints, but they, they go away after you touch it. And then in the back you have the same thing. And then you have a spot where you can plug in a speaker stand or you can attach it to the wall, which you might do. So all in all, with everything you get in the box, you get the center speaker, the left, right, rear left, rear right, the subwoofer, the unit itself that everything plugs into. You get that microphone to automatically cover the speakers, battery to your remote, the remote, the cables for the um, speakers, like the green ones, the center one is the shortest, the left and the right are a bit longer, and then the rear runs are 10 meters. You know, AM and FM, or AM and FM uh, cables. You have your um, quick setup guide to positioning the speakers and how to plug it all in. You have your customer two year warranty, and in English and French, you have your operation instructions. Now for just a closer look at the center speaker, here on the front we have a soft mesh. It says Sony on the top, right there. Has a glossy finish. Fingerprints aren't too bad, they go away. And then on, oh, on the bottom of each speaker there's a rubber feet. You have, um, you can put a nail or screw in the wall there. 
and there, and then you can put it on the wall if you want. If you have like a wall mounted TV, you plug in your speaker cable there, and it says center. And almost the same with the left, right, um, and rear left and right speakers. They have Sony on it. Matte finish as well. On the top you have the one spot for your screw hole or nail. Um, you also have, it says Sony, front left, your connections for your audio and you can attach it to a stand. And as well, there are rubber feet on the bottom of each speaker. Now for the closer look of the unit itself, it says Sony there. Um, and then power, standby, there's a little light there, and then here's a little power button right there. And you just push that, and then you can't really see it, but right here there's a, just a little screen that shows the volume, and you go through all the menus on that. And then there's a button that says sound field, you can change like from drama or sports. You have your input selector, and then here you have your volume, your master volume button, or switch. Moving towards the back, you have your power cable. And then here are all of Sony's um, connectors. You have your front right, front left, surround right, surround left, or for some of you may call it like the rear speakers. You have a subwoofer and the center speaker. Here is where you can put in the S Air transmitter. You plug that into there, it sticks out about there. Um, there is your uh, digital media port, so you can buy an adapter and it plugs in there, and then you can plug your iPod in. That's where you plug in the microphone um, to calibrate your speakers. You have two um, audio inputs. You have like, if you have like a CD player, you can have it go in there. Your TV, you have a coaxial in video. Um, you have two optical audios. You have from your satellite or cable box or your TV. It doesn't really matter what you plug in there as long as it's optical audio, obviously. You have your coaxial port for your um, FM and then your AM port. And then down here we have HDMI. We have one, two, three inputs. So we're going to have our uh, PS3 there and the cable box there and then out to our TV there. So everything gets plugged into this and then you just hit using the remote you just choose your input and it automatically changes the video and the audio in your TV and you don't have to keep changing that on the TV. So that includes my unboxing video of the Sony HTSS 370 surround sound speakers. Please subscribe, like this video, and comment. I'll answer any questions that you ask. Well, I'll try to do my best. I can't answer them all, but... Oh, yeah, and guys, recently I just became a partner on YouTube, so that's why you may see ads inside my videos now. So thank you guys so much for helping me out with that. And until next time, see you later.